Hello everyone. I'm the airplane expert Hideki. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review an airplane with a beautiful diecast model. I'd like to introduce the Mitsubishi T2 CCV. This model is Japan T2 CCV testbed. JASDF slash TRDI Gifu Airways 1989 from Hobby Master. The T2 CCV is an experimental aircraft developed by the Technical Research and Development Institute of the Japanese Defense Agency from 1978 to 1985 based on the T2 trainer aircraft to acquire CCV technology. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was in charge of design and manufacturing as the main contractor. Since the first powered flight by the Light Brothers in 1903, aircrafts has been built on the relationship between maneuverability and stability. The Light Brothers, the Light Flyer, had no inherent stability in their own right and was successful in flight through human controlled feedback control. Therefore, it could not be a practical airplane that anyone could fly. Flight control was very important for the development of aircraft. However, for a long time, the stability of an aircraft was determined by the shape of the airframe. At the time of design, the shape of the airframe was first determined in the three fields of aerodynamics, engine, and structure, and then flight control was taken into consideration. However, for a long time, the stability of an aircraft was determined by the shape of the airframe. At the time of design, the shape of the airframe was first determined in the three fields of aerodynamics, engine, and structure, and then flight control was taken into consideration. Therefore, there is a trade-off between the stability of an aircraft and its maneuverability, and it has not been possible to provide the pilot with optimum maneuverability. Since then, as flight control technology has developed, active control technology, ACT methods have attracted attention in the field of aeronautical engineering. Until now, aircrafts has selected the three elements of aerodynamics, structure, and engine type, and then has a control device designed in order to move. The shape was selected and designed in consideration of the functions and performance of the control device, as well as the three elements from the beginning. 
This is called CCB, Control Configured Vehicle. This makes it possible to simultaneously enhance stability and mobility, which are contradictory elements of an airplane. In the 1970s, following the development of CCB technology in Europe and the United States, development was also promoted in Japan. And in 1977, a flight test of Variable Stability Aircraft BSA, based on the Maritime Self-Defense Forces PCV, was conducted. However, this was only a limited research machine. Finally, in 1978, the development of the T2CCV research aircraft based on the T2 training aircraft prototype number 3, 29-5103 started. First, in 1978, a research study was conducted on the technical elements necessary for CCB research. In addition, a study of the modification required for the T2 using for the base and the wind tunnel test of the canard to be added to the aircraft using a 118 scale model were conducted. From 1979 to 1980, Japanese first digital driver wire FBW and its control algorithm were designed. Furthermore, more precise wind tunnel experiments were conducted and were reflected in the design. From 1980 to 1981, a detailed design included various parts such as actuator and FPW switching mechanism was carried out. After the detailed design was completed, in 1981, a test rig was created and the compatibility and operation of software and the use of the hardware were confirmed. The test rig was used for confirm that it operated and fitted as expected before the actual machine was manufactured. The test rig was formed with a stainless frame, sensor, pipes, actuators, etc. and were installed to reproduce the actual machine. A virtual cockpit combined with the control device and a simulated vision device were created, equipped with a CCV control and data processing device and the actual operation status of the parts were confirmed. It was also used for pre-test of FPW flight, pilot training, and simulators when problem occurred with the actual aircraft. In parallel with various tests, the component and canard necessary for remodeling the aircraft were manufactured from 1980 to 1982. In 1982, the T2 trainer prototype number 3 was disassembled and converted into a CCB research aircraft. To summarize the main modifications, firstly, the addition of horizontal and vertical canards. Secondly, the removal of ventral fin on the underside of the fuselage to avoid aeronautical interference with vertical canards. Unfortunately, Hobby Master's model did not remove vertical fin by mistake. 
Sadly, the flap of the main wing has flap down function, and the slotted flap format has been changed to a simple flap format. And lastly, the change in the shape of the spoiler. After rolling out on April 8, 1983, and conducting ground tests, it flew for the first time on August 9, 1983, without a canad. The first flight with a canad was made on October 14, the same year. At the time, a trouble occurred, and the experimental aircraft was in danger of crashing. Immediately after taking off and retracting the gears, the pilot made collective steering in response to the crosswind, but the aircraft reacted hypersensitively, tilting significantly to the opposite side and shaking violently left and right. With a quick decision, the pilot lowered the wheels and switched the flight control system from computer control to manual control. Then, the aircraft regained stability and made an emergency landing. This was filmed by a TV crew who happened to be visited for coverage and can still be seen on YouTube. The cause of this trouble was that the setting of the effectiveness of low steering after gear rising was high. In addition, it was found that the response of the control surface was delayed due to the insufficient distribution of flat control assigned to the flap. After taking preventative measures for each, the T2 CCB was delivered to the Defense Agency on March 26, 1984. A flight test was conducted as a defense agency with no canard in 1984 and with a canard in 1955, and the test was completed in March 1986. From March 26, 1984 to March 20, 1985, 138 flight tests were conducted by Technical Research and Development Institute and the Air Development and Test Wing. It was divided into four phases, and the following tests were conducted. A total of 46 tests were performed in Phase 1, 22 times, and Phase 2. 24 times without a canard. Next, a canard was attached, and a total of 92 tests were conducted in phase 3, 63 times, and phase 4, 29 times. All trials were completed in March 1986. After that, while retaining the CCB function, the test equipment and sensors were removed to restore the prototype, and the T2 CCB was returned to the air development and test wing of the Japan Air Self-Defense Force on February 2, 1987, and was used in the test pilot education. After that, it was no longer used in test pilot education and was selected and stored as a designated aircraft for preservation by the Japan Air Self-Defense Force due to its high technical value. Since 2014, it has been exhibited 
at the Gifu Kagamigahara Aerospace Museum. The development and flight test of the T2 CCV dramatically improves the flight control technology which Japan has behind in and help to develop the F2 fighter later. Today we looked 172 Mitsubishi T2 CCV from Hobby Master. My upland videos are available every Thursday. Hope to see you again soon. Subscribe!